International security experts are arriving in Nigeria's efforts to rescue more than 270 missing schoolgirls are ramped up. The military has rejected accusations. It was tipped off hours before Boko Haram kidnapped the girls. Nearly a month after they were taken, more than 270 are still missing. The Nigerian government has been criticized for being too slow to respond and rejecting earlier offers of international help. Raya Raga is live from the Nigerian capital, Abuja. Raya, tell us more about these claims that the military was warned that something was going to happen. Well, Amnesty International, as well as media organizations, have been told by uh, sources on the ground that there was advance warning, but that the military had failed to react, something that the military has felt the need to finally break its silence on Friday and issued a very detailed statement for the first time since the attack took place, uh, describing blow by blow what exactly happened on that fateful day, Jane, essentially saying that they did not have an advance warning for hours prior to the attack as Amnesty has maintained, but what they actually had was essentially uh, a call for reinforcement by one of its patrols once the attack was already underway, explaining and justifying that they were ambushed uh, by the Boko Haram fighters and detailing that they essentially had to dispatch reinforcements from Meiduguri, the central area in Borno State, uh, to Chibok, where the girls were kidnapped 120 kilometers away in a very rugged and difficult ter terrain, um, explaining that because of the nature of the area and the nature of the insurgency, the patrols had all along needed to be uh, mobile patrols rather than stationary uh, forces. And more importantly, Jane, uh, explaining that their investigations into their own conduct are still underway. It seems incredible all these accusations against the government, the fact that it's uh, acted far too slow and possibly that the military was warned about impending action by Boko Haram. It's incredible that the government remains uh, immune to this wall of criticism. If it happened anywhere else in the world, possibly the government would be asked to step down. Well, essentially, Jane, this is arguably one of the biggest challenges and most strongest episodes of pressure that the government of the administration of President Goodluck Jonathan has faced over the past uh, few years. What the government keeps saying again and again is that they are new to the situation, to counter insurgency, just like their line is, just like the United States was struggling or trying to figure out to deal with Al-Qaeda. Essentially, they are in this same position over the, five, the past five years trying to figure out how to uh, counter insurgency in an area where they don't exactly have a lot of expertise in and where they need help and assistance. It's important to note, though, of course, that this is indeed, uh, like you said, raising a lot of questions about the issue of accountability and um, providing a lot of ammunition, very rife ammunition, to the opposition, specifically as the government um, faces uh, general elections next year. So these are going to be a very uh, uh, tough challenge for the uh, administration of good luck, Jonathan. But more importantly, Jane, it also exposes really the state of the Nigerian military. What exactly is going on with the military that at one time was very well reputed across all of West Africa with very successful involvement in bringing peace and stability in Sierra Leone, in Liberia, and questions now, why is it unable to do so within its own borders, raising questions about the maintenance of its equipment and the nature of training its soldiers has been receiving. All right, let's leave it there, Raya Raga. Go to the U.S., where the First Lady Michelle Obama has called the kidnappings an unconscionable act committed by terrorists. She's taken the rare step of delivering the weekly presidential address. Michelle Obama has been a vocal campaigner for the girls' release and says the U.S. is offering all help possible for the search effort. Unconscionable act was committed by a terrorist group determined to keep these girls from getting an education. Grown men attempting to snuff out the aspirations of young girls. And I want you to know that Barack has directed our government to do everything possible to support the Nigerian government's efforts to find these girls and bring them home. In these girls, Barack and I see our own daughters. We see their hopes and their dreams. And we can only imagine the anguish their parents are feeling right now. Many of them may have been hesitant to send their daughters off to school, fearing that harm might come their way. 
but they took that risk because they believed in their daughter's promise and wanted to give them every opportunity to succeed.